professional climbing chalk versus magnesium carbonate that we made at home. Which one is better? We're gonna find out today. Let's go. This is Destructive Creativity, so if you like this channel, make sure you subscribe and click that like button. Let's go. Hello, my name is Jonathan Allers, and I am here at Trailhead Climbing with Curtis Paul. He is our climbing expert and the owner and operator of Trailhead Climbing here in Red Deer. So, thank you. How long have you been climbing? I've been climbing for about 10 years now. Nice. And you are the owner and operator of this amazing facility. This is the place where my wife and I all do our fitness and climbing ourselves. So, we see you quite a bit. But for everyone else that doesn't know you, uh, what did you do before you opened up this gym? Well, I was in the fitness industry. I was a personal okay. trainer before we opened up here. Nice, nice. So you've been doing this whole fitness thing for a while then? A little while, yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Now, big question, do you use climbing chalk when you yourself climb? Of course they use climbing chalk. Yes, thank you. There is a very small minority of climbers that think that it's actually better if you don't use chalk. Maybe they know something that I don't know, but I think they're wrong. Anyways, we have professional climbing chalk here and we have our homemade magnesium carbonate. Now, do you make your own climbing chalk at home? I do not. No, because nobody does, because I found out it's not very time efficient. But we did film an episode on how you can make climbing chalk at home uh, in a previous episode, and we'll link that up somewhere up here, something down in the comments. This episode is to test whether or not the homemade magnesium carbonate is better or worse than the professional climbing chalk, which theoretically is just pure magnesium carbonate. But we don't know. Anyways, you have your chalk here. Excellent, do you wanna show the folks at home how to apply climbing chalk? So it's just a bunch of loose chalk in there. So just getting my hands in. I like to get both hands in, rub it across, and then I go nice. nice layer on my hands. I like to keep it in the bag so that I don't have to vacuum it up later. Nice. So you just have a thin layer of magnesium carbonate right now on your hands. And what that does, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it creates that thin layer of grit in between your skin and the rock that allows you to have just a tiny little bit more grip on whatever you're holding on to. Is that right? Uh, essentially, yeah. What it does is it dries up the, the sweat and oils on your hands. Nice. So then there's not a layer of sweat in between you and the holds. Nice. Yeah, excellent. We also made some uh, liquid climbing chalk. And do you have some of that as well? I do, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so liquid climbing chalk is really nice during these uh, COVID times because it's made with alcohol. So you mix magnesium carbonate with some rubbing alcohol, usually 70%, and it's in a paste. So it also disinfects your hands and whatever you're holding onto. And then when the alcohol disappears and evaporates, you're left with the same magnesium carbonate. So we're gonna be testing everything today and we're, uh, we're excited to try it. Comfort is really important when you're climbing because if you're uncomfortable with what you're feeling, it throws everything out of whack. So we're gonna do a feel test first to see if, see which one feels better, which one feels more natural. Right now, obviously, you have the professional climbing chalk on your hands, yep. and it feels normal because that's what you've been doing for the last 10 years, right? That's right. Right, okay, so now he's gonna go wash his hands, and he's gonna try our new homemade Destructive Creativity brand climbing chalk. Okay, we're back. You have clean hands now, no chalk. All right, so here's the homemade magnesium carbonate. Okay, so, Obviously, I don't have quite as much, but you can put on the same amount. Okay, first impressions. Uh, it feels very grainy. It feels more like salt than it does like chalk, actually. First impressions, not good. I might not go into this full time. Yeah, it doesn't really coat your hands like climbing chalk does. Here, it kind of gets into the, more. the nooks and crannies, but it kind of falls off a little. Well, there we go. Maybe we just need a little okay. bit more. Okay, yeah, we'll give it a fair try. Gotta work it in a bit. Yeah, that feels almost like chalk. Look at that. Feels almost like chalk. That's that's better than I was expecting. <laughs> okay, well good. Well, it kind of feels more like salt, whereas climbing chalk, it feels more like flour. Okay, so I'm suspecting that it's not the chemical's fault, it's probably the production's fault. But maybe the salt feeling will give you better grip. We'll test it out. Obviously right now, with you, Curtis, we're going to actually just be testing the feel of it and the first impressions. I'll be coming back later and climbing for maybe a couple of hours, trying to get my hands as sweaty as possible and compare the difference between the good stuff and my stuff. Okay, Curtis is gonna be climbing here behind me and giving us kind of updates on what the homemade magnesium carbonate actually feels like. All right. Mm. 
the powdered chalk, not very encouraging. We're gonna try with the liquid chalk because at the very least, maybe it's just a hand sanitizer. So you already know what the professional stuff feels like, so go ahead and apply the no-name brand uh, homemade magnesium carbonate. <laughs> it, there appears to be a clog. Does this happen with the professional stuff? Some of them do, actually, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah some of them do. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so <laughs> right now he's just rubbing alcohol all over his hands and then letting it dry. How does it feel? It feels like I have hand sanitizer <laughs> and salt on my hands. <laughs> okay, so, okay, I'm one sec. Let's oh, try that this. That does not feel good, John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Liquid chalk, maybe <laughs> don't make it at home if you're making the magnesium, car magnesium carbonate at home as well. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need a test for this on the climbing wall. No. Don't use this. <laughs> just for comparison, we did just apply the professional climbing chalk and does it feel different? Yeah, it feels a lot better. <laughs> yeah, and you see it actually has that white residue all over your hands. So in conclusion, we probably won't be using homemade magnesium carbonate at the climbing gym, which is very sad because I was kind of hoping it was gonna work, but it didn't. But that just means you can come here to Trailhead Climbing and buy the professional chalk because they do have a store here where you can buy everything you need to start climbing. I consider climbing like this to be one of the best ways you can apply knowledge. Um, things like applied force, uh, leverage, even homemade chemistry, even though it didn't work, is great as a learning exercise with climbing. So thank you very much. This has been fun and I'll probably be back here today to just go climbing and maybe test out the homemade chalk one more time. For Destructive Creativity, my name is Jonathan Allers. This is Curtis Paul. If you're in the Red Deer area, come and check out Trailhead Climbing and Fitness because it is awesome. So let's recap. Magnesium carbonate is harder to make at home than I was expecting, at least to the, the consumer grade that we use for climbing chalk. Now, I suspect this is more of an end result of the way that I was grinding up magnesium carbonate. I was using a mortar and pestle and I just ground it up as long as I felt was possible to get as fine of a grain as I could. The next step for me is to actually buy a food processor or maybe a blender of some sort and just dump a bunch of the homemade magnesium carbonate in there and just let it grind itself up into a fine powder. Hopefully that would get more of the flour feeling instead of the salt feeling that Curtis was talking about. Do you have any other ideas of how I can make it better? Let me know down in the comments. Until next time, I am Destructive Creativity. No, I'm not. I'm Jonathan for Destructive Creativity. We'll see you next time. Bye.